Hi everyone, Ashley here. Welcome back to Dress to Jet. I thought to start off the new year I would do the Get to Know Me tag, which I know is very popular on YouTube, and I haven't really talked that much about myself on the channel up to this point. So get comfortable and get to know me. Okay, so I've looked, I've just Googled Get to Know Me tag. Um, I haven't really looked over these questions, so you'll get some honest answers from me. So the first question is, where did you grow up? I grew up in a suburb of Cleveland, Ohio called Elyria. Um, it's a pretty small town. Basically that whole area is all blue collar workers, so that's kind of the community I grew up in. Uh, yeah, and it was a quiet, safe place to grow up. Um, I didn't want to stay there, but if, I always tell people, if you want a safe, quiet place to like raise a family, Ohio's the place for you, because it's great for that. And it was a safe childhood. So more than I can say for other people that I know when they grew up. So, so yeah, so Leary, Ohio is where I grew up. The second question is where do you currently live? So I currently live in the South Bay um, of the San Francisco Bay Area. I moved to California. I've been out of Ohio for about 12 years now, but I moved to California with my husband about five years ago. So we've lived here for five years. How tall are you? I'm 5'4", so pretty average, I guess. Not nothing exciting there. Cats or dogs? So I'm a vegan, so I love all animals, but I tend to be a dog person. Um, yeah, I've had, I had cats and dogs growing up, and I just, but I just tended to gravitate more towards dogs, but uh, love cats too. Are you in or have you gone to college? Yes, I graduated college quite a while ago. I have a bachelor's degree and a master's degree. You're wearing perfume, what scent is it? Well, that's assuming that you are wearing perfume. Um, I don't wear perfume because I'm super sensitive to scents. I can't even walk through, like even walking by Bath and Body Works, let alone walking in, gives me a headache. Um, I can't really walk by the perfume section of a department store. Uh, I just don't do well with scents, especially those sickly sweet chemical, you know, floral scents that don't even smell real. Uh, I just, I, so I don't wear, I don't wear any perfume or any scents. Tea or coffee? Definitely tea. I love the smell of coffee. I'll occasionally have an almond milk latte from like Blue Bottle, which is a really great um, coffee place up here or all, Intelligentsia down in LA. That's rare, but I am a tea person. I have tea, not every day, but I definitely have it on the weekend for my breakfast and I enjoy it and it's nice. Usually chamomile, which I know is a boring tea, but I like it. What sports do you play or have you played? So I've never actually, I've played a little bit of everything. Uh, nothing passed into high school. It was all previous to that. I played volleyball, soccer, indoor soccer, outdoor soccer, because indoor soccer is a thing when you grow up in Ohio because uh, of the weather. Um, I played softball. That's probably the one that I played the longest. I played that for many years um, as a kid, though. I never played it at school. Uh, yeah, so I think that's all I dabbled in. What's your favorite movie? So my favorite all-time movie is Phantom of the Opera 2004. I've loved Phantom of the Opera um, since I was like a third grade when I saw it. I've seen it 10 times in the theater all over the world. I, I just love it. And when that, I was at the first showing of that movie when it first came out. I was, 2004 is the year I graduated from high school, so I was 18. I was at the first showing of that at my, at my local theater in Elyria, Ohio. I was there seeing that. I saw it seven times in the theater, and I've seen it countless times since then. So that is my all-time favorite movie. Second is Gone with the Wind, because it's Gone with the Wind. Do you speak any languages and how well? This is something I really envy people that can have a knack for picking up languages. I don't. Obviously, I speak English. It's my first language, and it's my only language. My grandmother's first language was Spanish. She didn't learn English until she went to school. Um, so in high school, I tried to learn Spanish. Flunked. Only thing I've ever flunked in my life. I flunked out of Spanish. So the next year, I took French for two years. And I, I got by. My teacher took pity on me a lot. Um, she was so nice. Miss um, Hopsley. And I just didn't do well. I, I got by, like I said, but I forgot most of it. There's very little that I remember. So unfortunately, I don't have the talent for picking up languages. I wish I did. Are you single or taken? I'm taken. I've been with my husband for 10 years. We've been married for eight years, so that's been going on for a while. How would you describe your fashion sense? This is a good one uh, on brand for my channel. I would definitely say vintage and of the past. Uh, I would dress vintage every day if I could get away with it. I probably could get away with it. People do. Um, but there are days when I just, I feel like dressing modern, but most days I would dress vintage. What is your go-to hairstyle? I'm not good with my hair. You can tell I probably, I attempt to curl it on here sometimes, but I'm really not good with my hair. My hair is very fine and it's getting thinner as I get older. Um, so it's getting tougher to work with. It doesn't hold a curl well. It just, you know, it just droops. So 
I don't do much with my hair. My go-to hairstyle is clean and blow-dried, I guess. How many siblings do I have? I have one younger sister, she's younger by two years, uh, and she's having a baby in March, so I'm excited about that. And she just moved to Boston, so a lot going on for my sister this year. What's your go-to fast food order? Um, I really don't eat fast food, uh, but when I do, I really only eat Taco Bell, and I usually veganize the seven layer burrito, which is very good. It's, a, it's really my husband and mine's like travel meal. Like if we're coming home from the airport really late, everything's closed, we get that. Or if we're, you know, Basically, that's the only time we have it when we're traveling um, and we get home late. We have a Taco Bell very near to us. We stop by there just really quick and because if we don't have any groceries at home. So it's not often, but I do love a Taco Bell when I'm traveling. Do you use a PC or a Mac? I definitely use a Mac. We're an Apple family through and through. Um, I do work. I've always worked on a PC, uh, but definitely Mac. Your most memorable vacation memory. Oh, my husband and I love to travel, so we have a lot of good vacation memories, and I feel like every vacation we take, we're like, that was the best one. So all of them, just being able to, like, having the opportunity and the privilege to be able to travel and be able to afford it. There was times that we couldn't afford it and we really wanted to, so uh, just being able to do it is the best thing about it. What are your morning, evening routines? So I don't have really much of an evening routine. I'm a morning person, so I more have a morning routine. I usually work out in the morning, have my breakfast. Uh, obviously, uh, depends on weekend or work day, because um, I do work full time. Uh, but yeah, I get up and work out. That's like the biggest thing in the morning. Not every morning, but when I on my days that are not rest days, I get up and I work out um, and have breakfast and just get up early. I like getting up early. Do you have any bad habits? I have many, I'm sure, but one that comes to mind that I really hate and I really try not to do is I have a really bad habit of interrupting people. And it's not meant to be rude, it is rude, but I don't mean it to be rude. It's just that my mind races so much faster than my mouth and also thoughts leave my head so quickly. So I feel like if I don't start saying it, it'll be gone because it does, it happens and I should just lose it if I have to, lose the thought because someone else is trying to talk about their thoughts. Um, but yeah, if I don't start saying it, I will forget it. So that's why I do it, but I should just Keep my mouth shut. So I'm getting better at it, but that's probably one of my worst habits. What's your favorite Netflix show? So I would say, uh, God, I'm trying to think which ones are all on Netflix. Um, I love Stranger Things, of course, who doesn't? And I love Fuller House. I, I never really liked Fuller House when I was growing up, but I love Fuller House. Um, and actually watching the second season now, I haven't finished it. So those are two that come to mind off the top of my head. I mean, Stranger Things is probably the best show on Netflix for sure. What theme parks have you been to? I've been to a lot, considering I lived in Orlando for seven years. Um, I grew up going to Cedar Point, which is the best theme park in the world. I would say it's not a theme park, it's an amusement park. It has the best roller coasters in the world. So if you are a roller coaster enthusiast, you probably already know about Cedar Point, which is in Sandusky, Ohio. Um, it has the best roller coasters. But I've been to both Disney's, all the parks in Orlando, I've been to all of that stuff, so yeah. What's your favorite genre of film and why? Oh, this is a great question because I have a film degree. So honestly, my favorite genre is musicals, which is an unpopular opinion. People, you know, think musicals are corny and horrible and they can be, but I, I love them so much. I think, I, I just, I don't know. I love musicals, mu modern musicals, musicals. There's a lot from the 60s. I love musicals from the 60s, like Seven Brides or Seven Brothers, Calamity Jane. I grew up watching those. I love them. Uh, Carousel. I, I, I just love musicals. So yeah, my favorite genre is musicals. What was your dream job as a kid? Well, yeah, I guess it's a job. I wanted to be a professional figure skater. Like, end of story. That's what I wanted to do. I can skate. I never took any lessons. I guess I just never did it. But I can ice skate. I can stay up and everything. I can't do any tricks or anything. But that was like what I wanted to do. And every year or every time, that the Winter Olympics come up, I watch the figure skating and I just get like so excited and I still feel that passion for figure skating even though I've never really figure skated. I have ice skated. What are your pet peeves? Uh, a couple pet peeves of mine are people not saying thank you when you hold the door open for them. Uh, they get a, you're welcome from me, which I probably shouldn't do, but uh, that's a pet peeve of mine. Just someone goes out of their way to open the door for you and you don't acknowledge them. You don't even look at them. Don't even look them in the eye. You know, I have a pet peeve about that. What is your favorite color? So this changed throughout my life. There was a time in my life where I grew up as a tomboy. Uh, I wouldn't really wear girls' clothes. I was such a tomboy. Um, and 
I love, so I never would have dreamed of wearing anything pink or liking the color pink, but at one time in my life, my favorite color was pink. But now it's green. I have green eyes, I feel like it's my color. Um, I have a green wall, which you can't see in my house. I love the forest. Um, I love the, the tones of the forest. Uh, so I think I've grown into loving green um, and it complements me wearing it the most. Do you know your personality type? What is it? So I'm assuming they're talking about type A or type B. I am type A. I think growing up I was more type B, but I've definitely, I was way more easygoing and just whatever. I'm not anymore. Um, I'm very regimented and I like planning and making itineraries and I'm very type A now as an adult. Are you named after anyone? So actually my mom got my name Ashley. I wasn't named after this person, but she got my name from Gone with the Wind. Ashley from Gone with the Wind, who's a man. Um, and we know now that there are very few men named Ashley. It's mostly a female name now. Uh, but yeah, that's where she got my name. And one reason why I love the, the book and the movie so much. If you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? I really like Ashley. Um, I think it describes me really well. I can't think of another name that would fit me as well. So I'm lucky because I know a lot of people hate their name. Uh, so I, I lucked out in that department. But um, I don't know if I'd change my name, but a, a name that I really love is Willow. Um, I just love that name. Like, man, I do not have any plans to have children, but if we ever did and had a girl, I would name her Willow, because I really, I just, I just love that name. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? I actually know this one. If I was a boy, I would have been named Garrett. Hi, I'm Garrett. What's your best physical feature? I would say my eyes. Um, I have green eyes, which is the rarest eye color. Um, a lot of people like, I, I like them, and I know a lot of people comment on them and, and admire them. So, uh, yeah, I guess I would say the eyes. What is your favorite music genre? I would say ugh, I love a lot of different types of music, but I would say the one I go to most often is just alternative, um, alternative indie music um, that's modern, uh, but I love all, a lot of music. My favorite band is the Beatles, so that's not in that genre at all, but um, yeah, if I'm just going, putting in the car and I'm putting something on, it's probably gonna be um, alternative. What is your favorite time of day? The morning, the early morning. That's. I'm the most productive then. I just feel like the whole day's in front of me. I, I kind of like knowing that everyone else is just kind of sleeping a day away um, while I'm up and living life. Um, yeah, I'm weird. What was your favorite subject in high school? I loved English because I love, love reading. That's something I really haven't talked about on this channel. I, I read 60 books in 2018. I, I just, I love reading. It's a big part of my life. Um, so I loved reading books in English. What was your least favorite subject in high school? Math. I'm so bad at it. I hate it. Uh, and I don't use it every day. Not really. So, you know, I didn't really need it. So, um, I hate math. Um, I hated it then. I hate it now. But I don't have to take it anymore. What do you love about your favorite TV show? So my all-time favorite TV show is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which has been off the air for quite a few years. Um, but I was at the right age to watch most of it um, while it was airing. and. It's still my favorite show. I, oh, it still holds up. It's such, it's such a groundbreaking show. It's still relevant um, and it's amazing. And I think they are making a remake of it. So I'll be there for that. Are you more likely to avoid conflict or engage it head on? This is probably a weakness of mine because I avoid conflict at all costs. I am getting better like when, it, when a conflict needs to be addressed. I am getting better as I get older, but um, I really avoid conflict at all costs, even maybe when I shouldn't. I hate conflict. <laughs> Are you a fan of any sports team? So I support all the Cleveland teams, um, but also the San Francisco Giants and the San Jose Sharks, which is where I live. Um, I'm a big Cleveland Cavaliers fan, even though I live where the Golden State Warriors play. Cavs. Are you an early adopter or late adopter? Uh, I guess it depends. I was an early adopter for Facebook. I, even though I haven't been on Facebook for seven years, I joined Facebook when you had to have a school. It was just, you went to Facebook.com and it was a list of schools, universities, you know, colleges that were participated and you had to have a school address and you had to be at certain schools. Um, so when I went to college at 18, 2004, I joined Facebook because my school had kind of like participated with Facebook and, and you couldn't just join it. You had to have a school email address, everything like that. So I was an early adopter for Facebook, even though I've left it many years ago. Do you remember your dreams? So I do most of the time, and they're pretty crazy, even for the average person. 
I'll tell people my dreams and they're like, what are you eating? Or like, what's wrong with you? Like, I have pretty crazy dreams. I think um, everyone has crazy dreams, but I think even like the reaction from people when I tell them my dreams, they're, they're a bit taken aback about how odd they are. Do you have any pets? I do, I have a little baby for baby, um, Penny Lane, who is, she'll be 13 in July, so she's a little old lady. I got her when I was 20. Um, yeah, and she's just sleeping on the couch over here. She's made a brief uh, cameo in my in my in one of my holiday vlogs. She wanted to be on camera. So yeah, she's just a little old lady that hangs around the house and takes lots of naps. She's very cute. Do you believe ignorance is bliss? Why or why not? So this is kind of an interesting question because it is, I mean, the more, uh, the more sheltered you are, the more, less things can hurt you, but you aren't really living the most genuine life, put it that way. Um, that's kind of reason, one of the reasons I'm vegan. Like, I looked into these issues, I watched the documentaries, I watched the footage of what happens to animals, and that was not bliss. Like, that was really horrible thing to come to realize and come to terms with, that I was paying for these practices to happen. Um, so, but now I've, I've not participated in that anymore. And, and that's bliss, knowing that you're not part of that anymore. But knowing that it happens is, is painful. So I'm living a more genuine life, but I'm not ignorant. How difficult is it for you to forgive someone who refuses to apologize? So this is something I've had to deal with a lot in my life. Um, and I kind of see it this way. You forgive someone for yourself, not for them. Um, especially if they're refusing to apologize. They're not sorry for what they did. Um, I think it helps to unburden you. I kind of take it away from that person at all. It's not for them, it's for you. So you can unburden yourself from the hurt that the person did to you, and then you can move forward. That's kind of how more I see forgiveness uh, than for the other person. It's more for you. How far away from your birthplace do you live now? Well, like I said before, I grew up in Ohio and I live in California, so quite a while, about a five hour flight. How has your birth order characteristics of siblings affected you? Um, well, as far as birth order, I was the first one, not only the first one of my siblings, which I only have my, my one younger sister, but I was the first grandchild. So out of all the siblings of my grandparents, I mean, uh, children of my grandparents, uh, I was the first grandchild. So there really wasn't any other kids around for a while. Um, so I think that kind of helped develop my independence. Um, and I'm kind of it's old, I'm old soul, I guess. And I think that kind of came from my birth order. I think that would play a part of it. Would you ever consider living abroad? Yes, I'd love to live abroad someday, particularly in London, if I could swing it. How many days could you last in solitary confinement? Not long, not long. I think I will crumble pretty quick. Have you ever ridden on a motorbike? I have, my uncle is a motorcycle person. I don't think he rides anymore, but he did take me around the block on the back of one once when I was younger. Uh, yeah, that's my only uh, ride on a motorcycle and I'm glad, that's it, I'm good. Have you read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games, or Twilight series? Which one was your favorite? I've read all of them, and I would say Hunger Games was my favorite. I actually didn't like Harry Potter. I know, come at me, I'm a horrible person. I didn't like Harry Potter. And Twilight, I liked in the moment <clears throat> when it was coming out. And then I look back on it, I'm like, oh, this is trash. Um, but the Hunger Games, I really love. What female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Probably Mindy Kaling. I feel like we would be best friends. What is one thing you'd rather pay someone to do than do yourself? Why? Clean my house? I do get a satisfaction out of cleaning my house because I can like see my work. I can see the progress that my time has, that has been used for, but I'd rather be doing something else like reading or working on my channel or my blog or my podcast. I have a lot going on. So I'd like someone else to clean my house for me. Okay, so those are all the questions I'm gonna go over today. I hope they helped you get to know me a little better. Um, they were fun. Yeah, I might do that again someday because there's, there's so many, there's unlimited questions I can answer, right? So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.